I, I feel, to be honest with you, kind of outclassed. I, uh, a lot of uh, really fun people. This has been a good time for me. I, I, I used to work at the International House of Pancakes. <laughs> Thank you. You set your goals and you go for them. It was a dream. I made it happen. It was the worst job I ever had in my entire life. And I'll tell you something, when people would be rude to me, I would touch their eggs. It's a true story. I just flip them over in the back with my hands a couple of times. They didn't know. I felt better. It worked out. I didn't want to. I had to. It was a terrible job. People complained all the time about the service. And you know, we weren't slow. The floors were sticky. We were stuck in the back trying to get to the tables. I tried to get a job one time at a uh, submarine sandwich shop. Only they wanted me to take a lie detector test just in order to apply for the job. I said, what the hell am I gonna lie about in a sub shop? It's like, do you have roast beef? <laughs> no. <laughs> How much is tuna? Thousand. I was raised in kind of a weird family. My mom's one of those really angry moms, just gets mad at obviously everything. One time when I was a little kid, I accidentally knocked a Flintstones glass off the kitchen table. She said, well, damn it, we can't have nice things. <laughs> and she has an emotional range of two things anyways. She's either pissed or she's trying to get you to feel bad for her. Those are her two areas. She told me one time when I was little that this was how she learned how to swim. She said someone took her out in a boat in the middle of a lake and threw her off the boat. And that's how she learned how to swim. I said, Mom, they weren't trying to teach you to swim. I guess when they shot at her, they were trying to teach her to deflect bullets. It's not, I feel like, what, if you, do you, is it kind of the Nicholas Nickleby of uh, comedy here? It's a, it's a long show. How are you feeling? Are you okay? I'll go someplace all at once. You know, like a 7-Eleven or something. All of us all at once. Just act like it's a complete coincidence. They're just having a rush. We don't even know each other. We're just looking at some frozen foods. Then one at a time, each go up and buy a Slim Jim. It would really screw up their inventory. Next week on, like, you know, Saturday night, big old truckload of Slim Jims be coming in. We better get ready, they were in here last week. <laughs> Anybody else ever just gonna feel the fetal position coming on? <laughs> I think they're giving me this sign in the back, which means we really enjoy your work, keep going. <laughs> I've been in the business for a while. <laughs> I just wanna check the room for safety. Look at that, there's a big vent up there. You know, that's for, that's a, if this building flips over and then floods. <laughs> no, which could happen because the other day my flight was on time and I found my luggage, so some weird shit has been happening. <laughs> I said, if this building flips over and then floods, that half the people here that believe that God will save us can stay here and the rest of us can shove Shelly Winter's butt through there and go on ahead. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you.